All right, welcome to the Gulag Podcast. Uh, we got Steven here, and we got Serge, and we have a new member, or really a guest. He won't be joining all the time, but we got Tell with us tonight. So I think we should restart that. Start. Hello, welcome to the Gulag Podcast, <laughs> Season 2, Episode 1. It is Season 2, Episode 1. We're not cutting it out. <laughs> we're going we're gonna to keep going. Dude, guys, nobody laugh. Please edit that out. Please, Wait. please edit that out. <laughs> guys, guys, please. Guys, it was a joke. You... Please, guys, some... guys can you not edit that out? Ah, oh, shit. Oh, fuck. I didn't know the camera was on. Oh, you caught me being oh, sexy. Oh. Shit. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, pretty much, the gist of it is, it's been... Yet another year. If we really right. had to sum it up, if the basically the gist of it, <laughs> the gist of it is. All right, all right. Let me, let me, we have to let put me it in a few words here. I'm gonna start. We started already. We already. We were already going. Well, I was. We... Oh. <laughs> Jervis, can we get a timestamp? <laughs> <laughs> Holy fuck, Scott the Wise. <laughs> 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 All right, that is the end of that. <laughs> oh fuck! I'm thinking of Donald Trump. No. <laughs> God. Anything but that. Oh my gosh! What a it's great pretty much I'm gonna edit out all your jokes and only put my good ones in. Son lost to the <laughs> The man behind the slaughter. All right, now imagine this? Donald Trump just humping in the air, just erratically and forcefully. Band kid. Right. Cool. <laughs> different here to explain the joke. Hold on, I'm imagining it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I imagined, and it was funny. Anyways, I'm playing right. Clash Royale. Well, this is when we lose Steven, but it's been a year, if I'm wrong. Uh, but we've made YouTube videos. I don't think it's, it may not have been a year. It's it only been have... a year if you're wrong. <laughs> yeah, only if I'm wrong, it's been a year. So <laughs> that's our last podcast, but we've done obviously videos and we have at least a couple posted. Um, but the date... Mark the date. It's September twenty seventh, twenty twenty one. Mark your calendars. Exactly. We got a lot of stuff to post. Mark the calendars, all right? <laughs> yeah. Because you won't want to miss this crazy content. This this crazy stuff we got planned. Never this before crazy... seen. Oh yeah, yeah. Once it's posted, you'll be coming and never before all seen over white the... people on YouTube. YouTube. I'm sorry. White gamers on YouTube. All watching one person play. As White seventeen-year-old, you know, males. This, you know, I'm excited for all the stuff we're gonna post in the future. But there's one thing that I'm not excited for, and that's the month of October. I just uh, I'm not looking uh, forward to it. I'm, uh, uh, I'm painting the day that it turns to be October first. You wait. You're wedding the day. I'm. I'm <laughs> he's painting. Ah! He's painting. He's painting. He's painting. Like the guy from Batman. Yeah, that, like the guy from Batman. Oh, Batman! I can't wait for the day of October. Anyways, the the reason why I was born in my Anyways, the reason why I'm not looking forward to the month of October is because uh, it's a it's a tradition that every October I have to turn on light mode. Oh, that Every we October as of last year. <laughs> yeah, well, well it's, it's become a tradition. <laughs> we did it. Right? We did it on Halloween, twenty nineteen. Yeah. Well, now we're okay, that, now but... we're extreme. Yeah. Well, we have to turn on light mode for. Yeah, everything. masochism to the extreme. <laughs> <laughs> we can do light mode on everything, everything, not just discords. Phone light mode and yeah, Google YouTube light, light mode. mode. Yeah. Uh... Skin color light mode. <laughs> what? Just get oh, I I have that one turned on all the time. I don't. <laughs> <laughs> Coming in mighty early with the race jokes here. 
Oh, oh, oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, you make race jokes? I mean, oh, that's kind of cool. Can I get your number or something? I mean... <laughs> <laughs> I... Oh, this is oh, great. My other one was me. same question, but with your legs. Oh, you this is one... great. Forgive me for muting for just a few minutes. Oh, this is great. <laughs> <laughs> oh, perfect! Oh, so great. Oh, you have to pee perfect. in a can. If you didn't want to hear my massive manly piss stream, sorry, you're not gonna hear Damn, it. Damn, girl, you frying me. chicken in there? <laughs> we should talk about the stuff that we haven't talked about in a podcast recently. Like all the all the new stuff yeah, that we're, we've done. Yep, yeah, pretty much everything that we've done since in like the past year. To make the channel better so <laughs> still haven't fixed that we're getting on it <laughs> no, we're not we're not yeah we're not all right number one uh we have a good channel now number two we number can... two subscribe right now please please <laughs> 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 i mean Hey guys, it's me, real Steve O. Subscribe to the Gulag Podcast. Holy shit, guys. special guest star Steve O is here. Oh my god, oh my god, I fucking pressed my nut. Ah. <laughs> I pierced my nuts, is that what you were saying? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I'm addicted to some sort of thing. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Peter Griffin here to explain the joke. Anyways, we made a lot of updates to the channel we're no longer just a podcast channel anymore we are now the gulag youtube communal you communal household yeah yeah skingus communal yeah. household complete with skin.com complete with colors complete with gameplay letters, letters. letters. complete with uh, games subscribers <laughs> <laughs> but yeah we uh, made a bunch of changes that's about it and uh, be sure to, to subscribe and hit the bell. Uh, and smash also, that like uh, button. Speaking of uh, new stuff, we also expanded our podcast to Spotify. Message to that. That's and, true. True. Uh, you can we find also... us on Spotify or wherever you get your podcasts, as they say, except for Apple Podcasts, because I'm not sure how to that's do that. Cool guys say these well, days. Apple Podcasts is the gay one, so let's just stay away from that. I, well, then we won't put it on there. <gasps> Yeah, sorry if you only listen to Apple Podcasts. Well, I don't have an iPhone. I think I can do it. Well, it does. It does. Serge and Matthew always say anybody who uses Apple Podcasts can literally go die and just not even. <laughs> yeah, that is on record. Anyone who uses Apple Podcasts is just the worst scum of all Earth, and we say it all the time, constantly. Yeah. Yeah. Use that YTP oh. voice oh. mixing thing oh. to make them say that. Bing. What? <laughs> we all forgot to put our phones on silent. I did not. It was like the house phone ringing. It's not a house phone. Yeah. Guys, I yeah. swear I did not forget to put my phone on silent. <laughs> <laughs> we also. Uh, continuing conversation. We also posted some stuff on Instagram. We posted some of our thumbnail artwork. So yeah, it was pretty epic. Anytime we have a new video or something, I'm gonna pop it on the Instagram and the Twitter. And we have a TikTok. I think it's at the Gulag YT. I'm not sure. I'm not sure what any of our handles are, but they'll be in the description. If you're one of those fellas to check out the descriptions. Yeah. One of those, one of those fucking fellas. nerds who goes into the description. Oh, <laughs> uh, guys, I check the description of every video. Well, yeah, and you're the only one who has glasses here, buddy, so I think there's a connection. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> How is it always perfectly timed <laughs> when there's a pause? <laughs> what? I said Samsung motherfuckers be waking up like they ain't the royal family. Honestly, the alarms are. Like, I can't. There's one sound for like uh, a phone call it sounds like an actual phone the rest are like ballads nokia Air, uh, arabic nokia ringtone 
I'm pretty sure I could probably just download that and put it in. That's, I don't know if you can do that with iPhone, but with Samsung, you can just download like an MP3 file and just like pop it in your, <laughs> in Bro, your phone. Bro, can you actually? Works. Yeah, you can. I, I haven't seen it. Like, with iPhone, it, but I've you, have seen to, like, you can. You have to like fucking buy shit from the store or whatever. It's pretty gay. You can buy stuff too, but that's stupid. With iPhone, you have to send the owner of your iPhone, or the owner of the iPhone store in your area, a picture of your spread asshole to get a new uh, new phone ringtone. That's legitimately mm -hmm. how I had to do it. I, I mean, that's what yeah, I did. That's, I, it, that's I didn't have to do that. Uh, oh yeah, why is that? Hmm? Oh, I, I just used one of those cards. Excuse me? No, I'm no, no. You guys are right. You you do have to send a picture of you spread eagle. Yeah. Um, that's how everyone does it. This is gonna be a yeah. shit fucking episode. Oh my god. Well, we'll just cut out the parts <laughs> where you say this is gonna be a shit fucking episode. Well, we should talk about what's happening in society then. Society. So, what what are you the new Mario movie? movie? There is Hello, another Mario. a new another Hello, Mario, Mario movie. Hello Mario. Hello Mario. They're gonna have Hello, to work Mario. real hard to get better to do better than the first mario movie well yeah. the thing is i'm in the movie um i'm the voice actor for luigi so nobody gets I'm that in. nobody gets that joke well I... yeah, yeah, don't, share don't share inside jokes don't share inside jokes god this sucks god <laughs> way to get meta i'm not trying to get meta you guys are forcing me to way, way to get columbus <laughs> Columbus. <laughs> Fifteen signs. You're a Columbus male. <laughs> Is it better than Alpha? <laughs> Fifteen signs. You're a Columbus male. Better than Alpha. <laughs> Fifteen signs. You tell the was. Scott the was. I mean. <laughs> better than an alpha. <laughs> I'm worse than an alpha. You know, Phineas gets Isabella, and Ferb gets. <laughs> Ferb gets get... Vanessa. What do I, I get? What do I get? I get paid. I get paid. <laughs> <laughs> Sigma grind set. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not a king. I'm the guy who controls the pawns. <laughs> <laughs> That's a real quote from Matthew. He said that once. He says that every time. When he's talking about his friends, his family, his loved ones. Anyone I just so much as fucking interact with, any of my pawns. They're all yeah. objects. This is my world, and they're just living in it. But, yeah, we were going to have somebody else here. Uh... Dusty was going to oh, be yeah. here, and he's not. Classic, it's not a Gulag podcast without a missing member in the first episode. Without a missing it's member, a, nothing to talk about, and some sort of technical a... difficulty. Yeah, without a, a fucking a fuck-up of some sort. Without a delayed flight for eight hours. Without a delayed flight. <laughs> and a layover in Minneapolis. <laughs> Somebody on vacation in the middle of it. Well, at least it's not as... Year-long breaks it's in between least... episodes. At least it's not as bad as that one time. When there was a uh, when I went to John Cheadle's house for Taco Night, the Discord leave and join sound in the actual audio, and so that was because that. who the edit whoever edited it didn't they like record the record? they recorded it and it was they recorded the recorded recording it. right oh never mind I thought they recorded the recording and it, oh this is not as while bad. they were doing that they got I think what happened is what it, I think what actually <laughs> happened is. The music that we used for that one, we we were recording it, and um, somebody started streaming in the VC as he started recording the music for it. And when when we shuffled the music together, we were looking at the beginning and the end of it, and not the middle of it, because we were just making a loop. So in the middle of it, there was the 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 join sound, or the the stream sound on Discord. And we didn't notice it until we, after we made the loop and copied and pasted it throughout the entire podcast and then and then uploaded it. We somehow missed it up until the point <laughs> in which we uploaded it, which is incredible so, yeah. because it's literally in every two minutes of, of the podcast. 
<laughs> yeah, every two minutes you'll just hear blah blah blah. <laughs> the podcast in that episode would have been a good episode like without any fuck ups of any sort but <laughs> right right at the end that's when it happened oh. it wasn't right at the end it was there the whole time we were just stupid enough not to notice yeah. <laughs> and it's on Spotify and Google Podcasts and uh Everywhere in the internet, it's it's anywhere wherever you get your podcast, you hear that. <laughs> yep. Please. If you were look at it Apple Podcast, because fuck Apple Podcast. <laughs> Sorry. I, the scum on the earth. And wait, wait, who were we talking about before? We said that. Scott the Wild. Uh, Mario. <laughs> no, we Mario. Were... no, we were not. We were Mario. talking about. The... I was talking Holy about Dusty. Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. So pretty much, Dusty is another person. I think he's been in one of the videos we posted already. And we made... no, no, he hasn't because he wasn't. He was he in edited... twelve minutes. No, oh, no, right. He edited that video. He wasn't in it. But well, he's in our uh, channel banner as of right now, even though he hasn't yeah. been in anything. Yeah, but he will be in things. He's he's edited some videos yeah. and he made the yeah. channel art for this season. Oh right, which we saw. Yeah, he in the made garden, some pretty yeah. good. He made some pretty good channel art. So he's the one who takes the Photoshop class, so he knows what he's doing. He's the he man who stood on the paint cans. He did that as well. <laughs> he's the he's the man who would walk twenty miles for a quailer. That's the big man. Oh, <laughs> my bad. <laughs> my bad, guys. Common misconception. <laughs> <laughs> Well, See, I mean, there's Dusty, Nanners, Dusty walk... and then the big man. The Common, big man commonly is well, don't evolution. forget Badlands Drugs. Badlands Drugs is also up there with the Kings. But so, he doesn't compare. Are all the like environmental <laughs> problems we're having nowadays because he chugged the ocean? Yes. Yeah, basically there's no more <laughs> algae because the algae can't live because there's no yeah. water. So they just... No, if you want to think <laughs> of it, yeah, basically if you look at the scientifically... 75% of the world's oxygen comes from from, from uh, algae, and uh, now that there's no water, they can't they can't live, and so now there's no oxygen. And because, so, I mean, if you look at it scientifically, and so now the world is just filling up with carbon dioxide, and uh, it's producing from, like, badlands heat. chugs and nanos, yeah. fat, green brap clouds. <laughs> <Whoa>. Yeah. That... <laughs> It's, our world is going to become a methane gas giant because yeah. of nanners. Yeah, what if you, uh, like, you had a large reservoir, right? And then you just, you just took a bunch of water and you put it in there. And you just did that a lot. Like, could you hold the world, for, like, for ransom just because you have a ton of water? You just, like, didn't let it's the rest of the world have it. It's dystopian future, that, yeah. What, like, Nestle is doing right now? Are you talking about, like, are they, uh, <laughs> taking, are they Wait, taking Serge, Middle Eastern Serge, water Serge. supplies and selling it back to them? Serge, what is you're that, referencing is, that is real? like, uh, Yes, that's TV. real. Oh my gosh. That's like a scenario from Rango, because in Rango, they were playing off of that scenario. Oh. No, but I'm saying, like, what if you the future whole Indian Ocean, water. but only the water part of it? And well, yeah, that would just be like Rango, where they, where the... First of all, you can't drink the ocean. Too salty, so nobody would care. First oh, of all, man. you're wrong. Badlands, <laughs> yeah, Badlands did, did chug the ocean. There's a video of it of him doing it. So <laughs> <laughs> I saw yeah. a whole fucking Thunderfoot video on it. Do some goddamn research. <laughs> yeah, it, the video was like a week long. I sat through the entire video. I watched him <laughs> chug the whole fucking ocean. Did you not watch the time lapse? No, well, well, no. I, I was lapse. true. He oh, jugs a time lapse. <laughs> oh, uh, oh! I have something we could talk about. Um, yeah, you ever see those uh, bathrooms Science. in the halls of schoolways? Highway billboards years and, ago. Uh, yeah. So pretty much, people <laughs> are stealing bathrooms. Uh, right? That is true. Funny TikTok trend for the week is theft. So let's <laughs> talk about that. Real life your next, your next funny yeah. trend will begin in exactly one month. Actually, the we're going down trend. the lines of the Ten Commandments. So, adultery—that's <laughs> next week's TikTok trend. Yeah. 
<laughs> Let's hope we don't get to week five, because then people are gonna start dying. That's what the death note is for. So, so are you saying like another Ted Bunny is gonna come up? Like, and we're just gonna become a Ted Bunny? Yeah. I guess it's already happened. Leave it to Serge to make an anime reference because he just loves anime girls, anime anime tropes, anime cliches. All a anime so futa, much. hentai. Anime well, the futa, futa is uh, my favorite uh, part. Just all of it. Four, even. God. But yeah, Matthew, the the Zodiac Killer. Wait, no, who was it? Ted Bundy. He, Ted he's already made his he's already made his appearance on TikTok because people love him because he's handsome. Oh Dude, my god. Zodiac killer? You're not actually. No, no, Ted Bundy. You're actually joking. No, no, no. That's literally the whole reason why he's a serial killer is because he's handsome and charismatic. Yeah, he was like super hot looking. He looked like. Um... No, 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 not, not about that. Like, he's actually trending on TikTok. Yeah, people. TikTok he girls is? like, oh my god. We are actually oh, going to have. We are <laughs> breeding. I, yeah, I thought I'd be kidding you. We are breeding a petri dish of serial killers on the They're internet. They're like, guys. Yeah, he did. Rape and murder and necrophilia. Like, oh, yeah, like, all these women, he, but... like, he did like rape, but he's kind of like, hot. People, he's kind of hot. Like, Look at him, on, guys. He's sexy, like sex. Look Duh. at him. It's Ted Bundy. He was played by Zac Efron in the movie. But did he making... really do anything bad? If you think about it, <laughs> 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 you know, if the world burned and I'm not the one. Who wouldn't fire? Just for like, Am I really can... responsible for it all? Am I? It just, have, if you just think about it for one second. That's but if you like, think about it. Comedy special right there. <laughs> when did The Dark Knight come out? Whatever the year Dark Knight came out. Okay, that was close enough. Uh, Nice. Why do we make movies about these serial killers? We do. Yeah, why? Like, doesn't oh. that just mean that they, they win? Because no, they're it glorifies like, revenue. Because no. America glorifies... I don't know. America glorifies gore, sex, nudity, just all kinds How of... How dare they? How disgusting, dare they? How dare they? So, things. My, my theory is that... I don't know. <laughs> is that the world is controlled <laughs> by... Great lizard. idea, though. Great idea. Yeah. In the Freemasons <laughs> I mean, like, in 1776. We've glorified criminals in the past. It's not necessarily new. Like O.J. Simpson. Yeah, like O.J. Simpson. Like like the <laughs> Wild Wild West. We glorify a bunch of that. Well, I would say most of the stuff we know. consume about it is like super super. I think it's because people. I think compared it's, to what it actually is. I think it's because people like bad news. Because bad news sells. Mm, true. Sex sells. Yep. Well, speaking about Zodiac Killers, I know uh, Zodiac me and Tell listen to this podcast called oh, Last Black Dude, Last. please. Uh, oh, dude. God. God. Cut that out. Genuinely cut that out. <laughs> cut that out. <laughs> I'm going to agree with Steven here. I will leave that in. <laughs> cut that out. Cut that out. I held all the cards. Uh, please you. tell us about what this podcast is. And <laughs> Serge, I've been recording no, too. I can do it. No, I'm letting you. You're taking the lead on this one, Matthew. I don't fucking extensively listen to this podcast like you do. All right. I'm you not, listen to it beside you. Buddy. I'm an amateur. I'm an amateur. All right. Well, here's my last podcast. Here's here's, here's my last podcast on the left impression, you guys. All right, you ready for this? <laughs> so basically, this this random guy, a uh, uh, hundred and ten years ago, right? Right? <laughs> Get this, he kills a kid. That's fucking insane. Are you guys kidding me? <laughs> well, look at this stuff right here. Well, look at the pictures. Look at the videos, guys. Well, the thing Anyways, is, it reminds me of the time, like this other case we looked at, where kids killed this other kid. Wait, this other case we looked at, um, ten, ten weeks ago, I believe. Ten week, ten weeks ago, I believe. We looked at it, and mm, it was just, it was bad. The gist of it is, the aliens came down and they controlled George Bush when he lost the, the election. The reptilians. And if I really, if I really, if I really had to sum it up in two sentences or so, I did you not the reptilians? They fucking came to my house. They because, stole my dildos. Because Dwight I, Eisenhower signed the Treaty with the Grays in 1955. Actual quote, by the way, that he has yeah, memorized. That's real. <laughs> he recites it every day before he goes to sleep. True. And when he wakes up, and when he eats dinner, right before he eats dinner, 
uh, at school before lunch. I mean, just all the time. Basically, Tell gets up on Sunday to watch Pet Last Podcast on the left, not to okay. go to church. No, no, no. No, no. guys, I do no. that on Saturdays. <laughs> <laughs> guys, I make my Scott the Waz videos on Fridays. I, I go to Mass on Saturday, <laughs> and then I watch Last Podcast on the left on Sunday. <laughs> He's a, a Scott the Waz tribute channel <laughs> Scott where... <laughs> the Waz tribute channel <laughs> tell you should actually make a Scott the Waz tribute video <laughs> that would be such a good idea <laughs> like how they have bands who just like cover all of like the Red Hot Chili Peppers songs and they call themselves like the Calif- the, the Californicators it's a, that's a real band that does that yeah. Yeah, there's, you just like... there's one band where they sound exactly like Led Zeppelin, but they beg and plead for people to not compare them to Led Zeppelin <laughs> because that, they're not trying to, but the singer literally sounds exactly like them. <laughs> like, you could mistake one of their songs for a Led Zeppelin song, and they just beg and plead, Guys, we're not Led Zeppelin, please! <laughs> you guys remember when Led Zeppelin was in Back to the Future? No, I never watched Back to the that? Future. You've never seen Back to the Future? I've, I've never watched... Seen the first one. I've You've watched only what, seen the first one. I watched what Back to the Future is based on Rick and Morty, alright? So I think I know what I'm <laughs> talking about. <laughs> <laughs> no, sorry guys. I got it from Bushworld Adventures, so I'm just better. As that is what Rick and Morty is based on. Well, yeah. So I Rick and Mortis. Full original content on my site, so Yeah, I'm There epic. was uh like a senator for Kentucky who posted a TikTok of him screaming the Rick and Morty song at the Senate House. Like, it was empty, but he was he was in the Capitol building just screaming, Rick, Rick. Oh, yeah, you showed me that video. Remember, remember that one song? I remember that. Where that reminds me of the video. Arms and went, uh, we are looking for the chick with big boobs. That reminds me of the video of the, the, I think there were senators in, like, a Zoom call. And one of them actually had the cat filter on. So he just like, cat. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> he goes, I'm cat. I'm like, How do we have so many, like, as a society, just have so many problems with Zoom? It's literally, I've never used it, but it can't be that hard. Way it's too not, long for there to be just, this many it's problems. Just not even. Look at that. Look at that. He's a cat. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Dude, there's this one uh, Zoom picture where this guy was a fly. During the bug Zoom in the Zoom call. meeting? Yeah, fly it. Yeah, bug in the Zoom I meeting. I think that was fake. That was definitely I don't know. Fake. It could have been I think, that was, I think that was fake. Guys, uh, I fake think that was news. fake. I don't know how a bug would be able to afford a PC. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, with, a, with the right education, Stephen, a fly. With the stimulus it. checks we're getting. What? Today's economy. 49,000 free bucks. <laughs> oh my god get it here now speaking of 49,000 v bucks oh no our table <laughs> it's broken oh. is funny now people are laughing at it now all of a sudden i left it like 4 years ago how long has it oh, it's been it got it's old four years ago it is old i it, i remember i left it there when it was when it was new that yeah. video is old yeah. Their table's been broken forever. It's <laughs> the dawn of man. It looks like our table's broken. Oh no! My table! <laughs> By the way, I was going to say this earlier about the Three Zoom thing. Ago. Three years ago, I was going to say this. About the Zoom thing. <laughs> if the... the, <laughs> the, the Okay, like, do you guys think that, like, school systems should... But I know this is like a biased question, and you guys are probably all going to give the same answer, but do you guys think that school systems should be changed? Like, do you think I they're outdated? Well, way. well like, their oh. diapers? Yeah, uh, they basically they have a full nappy. Uh, they're well, pretty much they made a stinky. <laughs> basically, they have a full. They, all school systems have a full loaded nappy, and they need to be changed. But besides Can that. Get diaper? <laughs> Roger diaper. rules. <laughs> <laughs> But basically, <laughs> I forget. Fuck. What was I gonna say? I've, and now, oh, I, now all I can think of is, is loaded nappies. <laughs> all I need is a good book and a full nappy. Anyways, the. <laughs> the I didn't know how to rope 
Okay, what I think, oh. what I was talking about is like school systems now, uh, like they're obviously like messed up in one way or another. But do you think they should be um, switched to like online shit? Because like the fact that the internet has existed for this long and we're still getting up at like six thirty and seven to go to school is 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 ridiculous. I don't know. Uh, I think it's I th I, th I prefer actual school from online school. Yeah, but there's yeah. ways there's ways to like cut down on the time while using like using assets I think, like that. Well, I don't know. For me, at least, I know that we could do an e-learning day on Wednesday. So basically, like, well, I I just think. Well, for my house on 112 answer, Olive Street in particular, to answer, come to my house, by the way. <laughs> anyway. As you were saying, Matthew. So, anyways. Um, it's wait a minute. Ep <laughs> God <laughs> damn it. <laughs> High school. In <laughs> get on with it. Why not? There's like some skin on my leg. Skin.com. Sorry, my fucking oh, skin is uh, peeling off because I live uh, in Fallout 4. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> took us, what, sorry, there's a there's a that joke. Sorry, there's a fucking scorpion crawling across my floor. Is <laughs> this scorpion? Yeah. Scorpion. I didn't say scorpion. Scorpion. Anyways, uh, I saw your mama and she scorpion. Okay, it. so scorpion. She did. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. So anyways, to answer your question, Stephen, I don't think that as of right now the online learning is like ready for in this socioeconomic climate and in this day and age online but the thing is is, is that not it... there and it is not ready it, it, is it could be like, ready though it could be yeah, ready but, but judging purely by the be... fact of like and someone think... doesn't know how to unmute themselves or doesn't understand that their camera isn't their microphone when we've been in a pandemic for two years and using this stuff Look, all like, it takes is... Well, it's not that. It's just the fact that, like, the actual... You have to teach it in a different way. Because you have to teach people differently online versus traditionally. Because in a classroom versus on a computer screen, it's just different. That's just how it is. But... so And we don't is... have... We don't have those ways figured out yet. It mm -hmm. is, it, it will, it'll take time to learn how we here's, have to teach here's the thing students on the, the concept in my opinion the concept of teachers is 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 a bit outdated it's just a fraud it's just a fraud it's They're an absolute it, it is an absolute fraud and we should do it but no i think the concept <laughs> of teachers is is a bit outdated consider because like if like okay so what if this is like just a basic ass suggestion but like you know how with YouTube and, like, just the internet in general, there's just a stockpile of information that anybody can access, right? If yeah, there was a service... Because it's just so fucking huge. If there was a service in which curriculums... And I'm pretty sure there probably is a bunch of these. Where, there, where curriculums that would be taught at school are stockpiled through videos and informational shit on the internet that could be accessed by students at any time. It would eliminate the need for for actual teachers like there could be instructors to make sure they're doing this and like they would be set on a schedule sort of like college like you do your own work at your own pace and as long as you have it done you you pass the class but you're missing i think probably the most pivotal point of school is that there's a human to human connection That's it's true. not just your really? learning it's well partially your relationships with your teachers that you get to make there's relationships with the people around you well well then maybe so not so much just solely relying on videos and information like that but like you would have your teacher right and you would be able to talk to your teacher about things and they would actually teach you a course but they would just utilize the information like outside of just them teaching you you know they would utilize all these videos and like other sources on, but I on feel the like, internet I to, feel like... to give you a better wider scope than just them directly talking to you like you would have like there the are teacher. teachers who already do that though you know maybe like we yeah, have like my history teacher like will in pull history, a video on like yeah, history will watch some videos on like yeah like people have been footage. pulling up videos since vhs yeah True. people have been rolling in charts and popping in that the tape 
Yeah, popping pop this, pop pop this piece of crap in. <laughs> <laughs> Basically, but, I'm I mean, saying there's a, probably a more streamlined well, version or way to, to do things in regards to, like, school. That's true. And honestly, I think your idea would work better if everyone was the same. But the thing is, your idea also is a lot harder to set in the actual practice because there's a lot of people that just aren't the same and everyone learns differently in their own way and because of that online learning for those people it just is different like someone with ADHD versus someone who isn't online learning is pro might be different or very different we just don't know and we have to figure that out so I, well, I think that we could do right now to slowly get to that point and to collect data and to figure out how mm -hmm. like learning and all that we could have like these e-learning days like where i go to school as last year during quarantine and all that we would for people who chose traditional like i did we would go to school for four days a week and then in the middle on wednesday we would just stay home and just have an act like as if we were peer online students just on Wednesday you know like I think we could do that where like where we live in a time where there's just no quarantine and there's none of that and we actually just go to school we could have like one or two days during a school week of just online learning and try some of these online programs so therefore we can actually collect data and get to that point for where we can fully switch to the online learning and we can actually figure out these ways to teach students better and to learn how to develop these ways to teach students properly to get to that point. So basically what we were saying. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay, yeah, nice. That we're all on the same page. <laughs> well, yeah, I, I, I don't know. I just, it didn't seem like you all were exactly saying that. I had to lay it down for real for me. Eight so. days. Eight days, Morty. <laughs> uh, I want to... So, in past episodes, we've talked about boring-ass shit. I want to bring something up. Um, in episode, like, three, not that there's many to choose from, I think it was three, we talked about the uh, the Xbox and the PlayStation coming out. Uh, oh, my God. You know, like, a year ago. <laughs> Bro, as of now, I still know only one person who has a new Xbox. <laughs> you wanna know what's really freaking funny? Uh -huh. What? I just Googled. I, I was. I, I got distracted. I Googled what I got bored. Five. I got distracted. I Googled what a PlayStation 5 is going for. I found a PlayStation 5 that's on sale for $200 right now. Bruh. What? Really? Yeah. yeah. That's actually insane. That's a crazy. You're probably gonna get it and you're gonna turn it on and it's gonna go. Your Bluetooth device is not connected. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were going to play the Supercell intro. <laughs> like, yeah, gonna, you know what's going to show up on the screen? It's going to show up Gay Station 5 instead of PlayStation. Oh. <laughs> oh. Let me find a laugh sound effect. I'm on console. I'm on console. I'm on console. Oh, oh Matthew is the only one on console. PC, Last time PC, 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 we recorded, uh, I don't think I had a computer. I might have. I didn't have a chair. I have a chair now. Uh, Dude, you got rid of your fucking... The day after I explained my, my rotten chair. I got another one. That reeked, rotten, reeked. foul, oh, disgusting, wanna... fat chair. Uh, so basically, what I just uh, <laughs> You guys want to hear the, the toils of my house? Sure. Uh, Make sure for it. <laughs> sure. Do we have anything else to say? Um, so... You know, I, I had the chair from the basement, and it was covered in mildew, yeast infection, uh, funny clips. <laughs> Glad it still gets the same reaction out of Matthew as it did a year ago. <laughs> well, a really year ago, I laughed really hard. Okay, so. Okay. Cut me some slack. Come use some slack. Uh, so the, ch the chair is gone. Uh, I have a new one. It's it's getting there. It's starting to smell uh, fresh. Uh, and what? in my basement, we had 
the air vent like was blocked up because it would like get super cold in there. But then of course it was summer, so it also gets super oh, hot in there. Because it took right a right fucking idea. engineering like, genius. Because it took an engineering phone. genius to because fucking learn how to buy a magnet block. cover. Because well, I didn't want to take the air vent off and cut a five-inch hole in it. <laughs> And stuck it in his fucking air vent. So because it's the airflow. It takes a fucking mega I genius to I put didn't a want to take the cover off. Cover because we there. had taken the cover off so many times. You don't need spruce, to take a cover off. It's you all put a magnet cover. No, I had to get the stuff out of it. it. I had to get the styrofoam out of it. All right. I, Why'd you put the that... styrofoam in there? We didn't know magnet covers were a thing. Because it takes a fucking engineering genius, apparently. We didn't know That's they the whole... existed. Because so... I had to tell oh, you. Oh, God damn it! Because I literally had one for a decade. I, I don't fucking look at your air vents. I don't walk around your house knocking on the walls, being like, "Oh, I mean, is this real wood?" This is a quality <laughs> rope. Christmas tree under an air vent, and we don't want like stuff falling down in there, so that's why we use it. Anyways, they have been out for a very long time, and I'm surprised They've been you have never heard of them. <laughs> Yo, yeah, they these had guys seem to be and everything. <laughs> <laughs> well, magnet cover oh, reveal trailer. Two yeah. of the magnet covers out. Y'all gonna go get it? So, anyways, I got the the magnet cover 2020, and I I hung it up <laughs> in the basement, and then the basement still got super hot. Uh, but it started like growing. We started growing mold, like the tables. We have little, oh little tray tables in there, oh and uh, Matthew's seen them. <laughs> I think, uh, and we, you know, you have a glass of water because it's hot, and you put ice in it, and it's freezing oh cold, God. and you set the glass on the table, and the condensation gets on the table. Brings it downstairs, and if he's not, like, if if he didn't drink all of the water in it, he goes into his garage and chucks out the water. <laughs> well, okay, that's a different thing. He just that's chucked a... it in his garage. Well, I don't want to carry a glass, a full glass of water up basement stairs. I'd rather just like pour it on the garage floor and like. I wonder why eat. you're growing mold. There's okay, so no, the mold is different. The mold, oh the mold, the mold was from condensation on the glass getting on the table, and us just leaving the tables in the basement that doesn't have like airflow. So then the table started growing mold on them, and now they're gross. Literally, how can you sit there and tell us that you don't have a taint fucking basement? <laughs> You we told have us on multiple occasions. Have... You always get on the defensive about this. You always sit there and try to give us excuses as to why your basement isn't just taint, but it is. And you can't ignore it now. You brought it up this time. We didn't do this to you. You made your bed, now you sleep in it, motherfucker. Wait, you sleep in your disgusting, foul fucking In your taint, taint bed. <laughs> I have slept in my taint basement, and I get quite clammy. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Dude, you probably have like some fucking like fungus flying around in the air down there. <laughs> I'm pretty sure we do. It like, it is an organism. It's probably just... not safe in there. There's probably black mold. No, it's white mold. Oh. Okay, racist. <laughs> <laughs> there is race joke number two. <laughs> All right. Good night. <laughs> uh, but we have a dehumidifier now. Is the moral of the story? That's, that's yeah, so that oh, that is great. Throw more water <laughs> in the garage, huh? Great. And I can throw more water down there. Well, we do have to empty it somehow. It's a dehumidifier. Like... Oh wait. No, yeah. Wait, wait, wait. You know, you're probably gonna you're probably air. gonna grab the water bucket from the dehumidifier. And throw it in the garage. <laughs> Just we put the you water told in me about the room. This time. It was <laughs> when either when we were there or this sometime <laughs> you're talking about it. You were in your basement and you didn't want to go upstairs to pee, no. so you pissed in your cat litter box. <laughs> I'm just gonna cut that out. <laughs> that is fucked. That is so scuffed. <laughs> that is a Redditor moment. You could post that on Reddit and get so many upvotes and have comments be like, same dude, same. <laughs> <laughs> I plead the fifth. <laughs> <laughs>
cat's litter box. You have the right to remain silent. <laughs> I choose to waive that right. <laughs> it doesn't even take that far to walk outside. I've been in your oh, house. Oh shit! Time. You I could didn't just even walk think about outside. that. Outside. Literally, it was like ten feet. You could have walked outside, but you pissed you in the fucking you litter box. You could have at least stood on the garage doorway and pissed from the doorway and onto the concrete. Mm. I didn't you didn't have to piss in the litter box. Yeah, because you were fucking tired and sleepy. You just. Like a drunken man, Fucking pissed wherever litter you box. Pee. I was Dude. probably like playing <laughs> some game and I was in a loading screen and I only had like 30 seconds that's to not act. The, that's not the story I remember. The story I remember is you <laughs> saying specifically you didn't feel like going upstairs. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's uh, yeah. You quote, didn't feel like going upstairs, so I used the litter box. I'm going to say, I probably, it was probably a good reason. <laughs> I can only hope. <laughs> I can only hope. <laughs> you also, because you told the same story to me, you also were scared that your mommy was going to find out that you pissed in the loot box because of the smell. <laughs> no, yeah, but. <laughs> <laughs> but I found out. Or I just, I just, like, I just, I realized that the litter box has, like, odor stuff. It, like, gets, it does, because, you know, you can't smell cat pee. You just smell cat litter. It neutralizes it. No wonder why there's fucking mildew and fungus fucking biological. <laughs> Don't do it every day. Your, your garage. fucking garage is biological warfare. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, it's fucking plague ink in there, and you know it. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, it's more like shit. trench foot. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Gang green. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> <laughs> 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 oh shit. Can we talk about someone else's house? <laughs> my house has Grabs a ghost collar in it. Shirt. Hey guys, guys, it's, it's getting kind of hot in here. Can we talk about something else? <sighs> Alright, let's make the arbitrary jokes. My house has ghosts in it. Tell's house is oh. Five Nights at Freddy's. Yeah, uh... And Steve, my house is Fallout 4. We know. Constantly we do know. child right there. So anyways, uh, we didn't have a joke for Steven's house. I remember that was one of the podcast episodes. We made fun of my house and Andrew's house and Matthew's house, but Steven's house is infested with demons. With demons, goblins, ghosts, ghosts and goblins, goblins. Some sort of wall pests. Yeah, uh, Steve, that's them, real, by the way. Oh, There's yeah, like tell squirrels the in my attic. Yeah, tell, tell us the origin story of this joke. The origin story or the recent story? The, uh, the is, is there a more recent one? The the one with the Did thing on the my wall? One? Yeah, I think that's the one we're all thinking of. Okay, well... No, I'm thinking oh, of no, 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 the, one before, the one before that, the one before that, the one before that. And then tell, then tell the wall. His brother saw the ghost. No, Matthew, shut up. Oh, okay, that one. Yeah. No, all right. So, uh, one time it, like, me, my, it was, me, my, mom and my dad. We were out of the house, and then my brother was the only one left in the house. He's my oldest brother. Um, so, we were like out eating. I can't remember what we were doing, but we were gone. And it was just him in the house. Uh, we come back. He's in the living room, which is weird. He's normally just in his room. He's like almost never just sitting in the living room doing whatever. So we we're like, why are you in the living room? And then he explains, I don't know. I just felt like being down here. So we went upstairs and then he proceeded to stop us midway up the stairs saying, I saw something weird up there. And then he told us the story about how, okay. So like the way my house is set up upstairs, there's one long hallway on one end of the hallway. It's my brother's bedroom. On the other end, it's my parents' bedroom. With my parents' bedroom has a window, and it's, like, right in front of the door. It's not, like, right in front of the door, but it's, like, it's... You can see the window if you're looking through the hallway, basically. So the light on the from the from coming from the window will shine all the way through the hallway onto my brother's door. And he claims he saw the shadow of a man, while we were gone, walk past the door once. And then he got freaked out a bit by it and kept on looking at it. And then he saw it directly again, literally happened right again in front of his eyes. And it's weird because it's this is on the second story, so it wasn't somebody outside the house. It wasn't some sort of creature, some sort of some sort of some, some sort, sort of, of pest. Of <laughs> yeah, but 
it, it couldn't have been my dog. The window is too high up, and my dog doesn't move around very much. And it's like a foot tall. It's like a foot tall. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, that happened. He it scared him so much that he went downstairs. My fucking twenty something year old brother was downstairs, af afraid to be upstairs in the house. And then, yeah, that's that's my other story. And. Or that's the first. That's the origin story of the of my house being infested with ghosts, and, uh, and goblins and gremlins and, and goblins, ghosts, ghouls, gremlins, skeletons, monsters, demons, skeletons. Yeah, yeah. skeletons. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, not recently, uh, I was asleep in my in my house as what most people would be asleep in. And my house, <laughs> my bed. This is weird. Sleep. Sometimes when I sleep, I sleep here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Sarah actually might sleep in his fucking disgusting feral basement. <laughs> I did anyways. fall asleep in there one time. I'll tell that story because I have it. I can just look at the Discord conversation between me and Steven. <laughs> <laughs> anyways, <laughs> anyways, I was asleep and nothing eventful happened. I don't remember having any crazy dreams, but I do. Rem I don't remember. But okay, so I don't remember anything. I wake up. This was like a week ago, right? This is like, yeah, it was like a week ago. My, a week ago as of recording this. Um, so on my wall, I have this uh, keyblade, this replica keyblade from Kingdom Hearts. It's about like 10 pounds, maybe like 15 <clears throat> pounds. It's made of metal. It's decently heavy for like a, a replica prop, but it's mm -hmm. hanging on like the top of my wall. Like to like my bed is set up next to my wall on the left side, so like the wall is on the left, and it's all the way up at the top of the wall. To reach it, yeah. I would have to stand up on my bed to get to it. But I woke up that morning with it just sitting next to my shelf, like on my on my right, just sitting on the floor, standing up, mind you. So, it, and it was strange because for me to do that, I would have to sleepwalk, stand up on top of my bed, grab it off the wall, and then place it next to my shelf perfectly, next to my dresser perfectly. All the meanwhile, not knocking anything down. Not knocking any of the other paintings down, <laughs> any of the other shit on my wall, not knocking anything out down, making a loud noise, not remembering anything. And it wasn't somebody fucking with me because for them they're for them to get it off for anybody to get it off the wall they'd have to be standing on my bed which is impossible for me to wake up for me to not wake up while somebody's standing on my bed so it, it was the weirdest fucking thing i have no clue how that could have possibly gotten <laughs> down there and it baffles me one more thing and, and this is a quick story the buffalo sauce packet exploding no. on your bed <laughs> no that was just <laughs> me fucking sleeping on on Wait. McDonald's <laughs> buffalo sauce, but <laughs> anyways, not the story Wait, I wanted to tell. <laughs> okay, I'll tell it. There, my Oculus Quest was sitting on my dresser, and for it to turn on, your face has to be in it, or you have to hold down the button. It oh, just okay. turned on in the middle of my, in the middle of the night at one point. And this was like oh, a couple months ago. That's terrifying. Yeah, I was completely off. I have no idea how it did that. It woke me up because it went. It did the. Like, yeah, the, the Oculus turning on noise. And I could hear the woo of like the main menu. Even got fucking scared that he was gonna have to play Pavlov with Serge. <laughs> that was that was actually just me. I was like, can you get up Pavlov? <laughs> you astral projected into my room to get me to play Pavlov. I wouldn't put it past you. You've been asking me to play Pavlov for done stranger things to get people to play Pavlov. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like pissing in their bed or something. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways. Anyways, the Buffalo Sauce Packet story. This isn't a paranormal story, but it's paranormal in the fact that it's not normal at all. <laughs> I had yeah. this fucking McDonald's packet of buffalo sauce <laughs> sitting <laughs> on the shelf on the, like, on the same, on, like, the left side of the wall, like, where that keyboard thing is. Like, there's a little shelf that's, like, right next to my head, pretty low down. That's where I keep all my shit. There was a unopened buffalo, McDonald's <laughs> buffalo packet there. At some point or another during that night, I knocked it onto my bed and was sleeping on it. 
and it and it apparently <laughs> I don't know if you have you guys heard this other than Matthew. No. <laughs> so so I wake up. I wake up with 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 brown with fucking weird brown liquid brown shit all over my fucking pants and I'm all over my pajama pants and I'm like what the fuck did I shit did I diarrhea myself in my sleep? <laughs> Keep in mind this smelled like buffalo sauce. So I was like Oh my god, what the fuck happened to me? Did I just explosively shit myself in the middle of my sleep? <laughs> I had to get up and go to school that day too. So <laughs> I had to deal with all that shit in the morning. But all yeah, that shit. I, I slept <laughs> all that shit. <laughs> so I had to s I slept on buffalo sauce for a majority of the night. Dude, and it was fucking everywhere. It was nice. <laughs> <laughs> it was everywhere. I I don't know how I didn't wake up because it was fucking bad. Best I've ever had in years. I'm honestly glad I didn't wake up because then I would have to wake up and deal with all that shit. So I'm glad I slept through the buffalo sauce enough to wake up at a reasonable time. <laughs> slept through the buffalo sauce. You probably woke up due to the rancid smell of buffalo sauce, like just all over your sheets. Yeah, it was bad. <laughs> oh. Oh. Alright, Matthew, your turn. Oh, okay. We've um, already heard all the stories. The scorpions. Well, I mean, oh my god, dude. Uh, I don't know if we ever talked about this on the podcast, but at Matthew's house, uh, like, uh, like one in every eight times you go to his house, his dad will make you move firewood from, like, <laughs> five feet to the left this. to five <laughs> feet to the right. <laughs> it's a good story, nonetheless. It is a good we story. We say story yeah. as if it's not, like... As if it's concluded, but every time we go there, <laughs> yeah. there's a chance that we will have to move firewood. Well, they're not stories; they're more of like tales of heroes. Parables. So basically, <laughs> epics. Do you like stories? Yeah, epics. Yeah, yeah. So basically, every this once in a while, my dad will have me and my friends uh, who are over at the house. He'll have them do some chores around the house. You want to know okay. why it is, or do you uh, know why it is, Matthew? Because there's an excess of child labor. <laughs> no, it's because one time my mom came to pick me up and jokingly, uh, she was talking to your dad. You know how parents are, and she's like, "Oh, next time he's over, you should put him to work." And he took that to heart. <laughs> and I am not kidding. He told me that. Oh my god. Like, oh yeah. One time your mom said I should put you to work, so that's what I do now. <laughs> it's, either, it's either that or you get stuck playing Dark Souls for eight hours with your brother. <laughs> <laughs> Tell him that, Matthew. Uh, I mean, well, that's your fault that you didn't put points in the charisma, all right? I can't help you There's with There's no in-between at Matthew's oh. house. One way or the other, you're going to end up doing three hours of the same thing. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I mean, either defending against Nightcrawlers, a pharaoh attack, or defending for yourself. I mean, scorpions. Some child scorpions. Literal scorpions. Rad just scorpions. Just... Rad worms. Matthew will fucking... constantly blurt out, oh my god, there's a scorpion of my... <laughs> crawling across my floor. <laughs> That would, dude. If I found a scorpion in my room, I'd like <laughs> bug bomb it and sleep somewhere else. In his room, you know that video of the guy flame throwing a cockroach? Yeah. <laughs> that scorpion. All right, I shit you not. Serge one time had a spider outside his window, so he got a ladder, crawled up onto the roof, grabbed some hairspray or whatever the fuck, got a lighter, and blow torch the spider <laughs> that's, that's on awesome. his room. <laughs> yeah, there was also once a mom and like, you know, all of her babies and before we had the basement finished before like it used to be like a gross little <laughs> shed in there that actually got air <laughs> and there was, there was a, yeah, it in sprawled it across the deck. No, that's different. That was, that was recently. But while, like... while it was spewing webs out of its ass. Oh, yeah. Pain. Yeah, I, 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 we had spider spray, and the spider was like, it was huge, and it was up in, uh, like, up in its web, and I sprayed, and it was like, you know, like, convulsing and dying, and then we had, a, like, a clothesline, and it got on the clothesline, and it started, like, crawling, like, with, like, with only four legs, like, <laughs> crawling, spraying webs frantically, like, I think it didn't mean to spray the legs, the, uh, the webs, I think it was doing that as, like, a reflex. Oh and then, uh, it eventually seized up, and I I scraped it across my back. Oh I also once uh, 
so gruesome. There was like a mama spider and all of her, all of her <laughs> cute little children, and they were a happy little family. And then I got spray paint because I couldn't find like any other sort of aerosol and a lighter and torched them. You also took the biggest spider body you could find and throw it in your little brother's Lego Star Wars <laughs> game case. I forgot about that. <laughs> that was hilarious. Oh my god. Oh my god. I forgot about that. Yeah. It was like, there was Lego Ninjago, and there was like a dead, like, brown recluse, and I just picked it up by the leg and dropped it in the case and closed it and put it back on the shelf. <laughs> oh, dude. Oh, my gosh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Tell, do you have any? Do you have any awesome stories such as those? It's I have one. Stories. Well, I've I've got a good one, but it's not about my house. It's about uh, uh, how I caught some lady huffing spray paint. Oh at, my at god! My yeah. <laughs> Tell oh no. Basically... Or four H center. Oh. No, yeah. but all right. <laughs> so basically, <laughs> no. <laughs> was right? I was doing some 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 service Cocaine. hours. Yeah, some cocaine. I was doing some service hours at Hefty. Just dabbling in cocaine a little bit. And um, I was at this their store. So me and a friend were, were sitting on some tile pallets in the back, taking a break. It was Donnie, right? Yeah, it was. And so uh, we were kind of we like, hey, we should like explore. So we kind of walked around, got within arms arms reach of this this box, and I look, and there's a lady sitting there with a pillow on top of the box to hide her face. So I went and got a, uh, a supervisor, told them what it, what's happening, and they came over and told her to get out. She didn't move. They went back up to the front. She freaking walked out, and I had to, like, confront her and talk to her. <clears throat> so I, like, I stopped her, and I noticed her eyes were just completely bloodshot, and she just could not oh form God. any coherent sentences at all. And oh, so, this uh, is great. Route. <laughs> yeah. She also had like like at least three teeth in her mouth, and that was it. At most. Oh my yeah, god. At most. Nobility yeah. Mary does paint spray paint. <laughs> does spray paint. I have death humanity, and uh, we t we kicked her out. Later, we found out that her boyfriend was distracting the cash register, so she could go back, deal some spray paint, go into the back, and then get high off of it. <laughs> Yeah, that was a fun day. Dude, speaking of blood wait, wait, did I ever, eyes. wait, did I ever tell you guys that she came back? Yeah. Well, I don't really remember. She, well, she, don't... like, showed up at the back. Like, Donnie went to go take out the trash, and he, like, he came running back in and said, the crackhead's back. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I remember that. <laughs> you told me about that. <laughs> the it's back. Also, oh, at the place Donnie. we were volunteering, the guy uh, who, like, the manager of the place, his name was Chris, <laughs> and he he could not, for the life of us, remember or listen to any of our names. And uh, <laughs> he called, so there's this actor called DJ Qualls, who's, like, some southern guy. He's in, like, probably really, really B, C-list movies. And he was like, oh, my God, you look like DJ Qualls. And he, like, showed a picture, <laughs> and he, like, started calling me DJ Qualls. And then I came back the next day, Here and he started name. calling me DJ Quaid. Because he forgot the nickname that he gave me. <laughs> oh my god. He called, and, Donnie, he called Donnie Johnny. Yeah, and he never, Donnie never corrected him because he's, he's Donnie. And then, uh... God. <laughs> there was one time, we, uh, there was like a delivery truck and you'd like deliver all the like products and whatnot. Like big couches and fridges and stuff. And <laughs> he called only Ethan. It was like just me, Donnie, and Ethan. Just tell, uh, tell what's done. And he called only Ethan up to the front because that was the only name he could remember. You like hear him pause on a big loudspeaker, and he's like, "Can I get uh, Ethan to come up to the front, please?" <laughs> and then Ethan had to go in the truck by himself with with one other guy to deliver like couches. Was it Randy? Yeah, I think it was Randy. Uh, oh, damn, that sucks. All right. Anyway, speaking of bloodshot eyes, uh, a little thing about Dusty. He's I thought you were going to say we should go to sleep like, or something. Like, 
No, no, no. Um, Dusty has recently been having allergies, and you'll be going to school with like bloodshot eyes, <clears throat> and like football games and all that, and everyone comes up to him and is like, "Dude, are you like high right now?" Like, <laughs> you'll ask him, you'll ask him, like, Dude, you look really like messed up right now. Are you on something? Tell, tell Dusty to you get your weed. Tell Dusty to go. Uh, yeah. <laughs> 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 yeah. uh, and they'll yeah. ask him like multiple oh, yeah, times. Yeah. Like, the same people asking sometimes. It's <laughs> okay, dude. <laughs> I similarish story. The the B and B twins, not bed and breakfast. Uh, Stephen Tell, those guys. Uh, uh, not, I know who you're talking about. Yeah, you guys know who I'm talking about. Is what I'm trying to say. I was in the bathroom once, uh, like last year, just trying to like go to the bathroom and then leave. Uh, and they like went in there with the Nick stick as you do. <laughs> were they too casual with it? They were awfully casual with it. <laughs> and then I was like walking out, and I just had like, like just a fucking bruise, like unrelated. They thought it was a hickey. I just had, like had a, just a bruise. Like, I don't even know if it was a bruise, like a red spot on my neck. And just like one of them points it out, and they're like, "Dude, oh my god, is that a hickey? Oh my god!" <laughs> and he's and then. <laughs> <laughs> and they're like, oh, oh my god. Like, freaking the fuck out over, like, my rash or whatever. Holy fucking shit! And then I, I was like, oh, yeah. Haha, <laughs> yeah. That was the end of that story. Minor <laughs> story. There was a kid in my grade school who just literally mumbled all the time. And he barely talked. So anytime he ever talked to me, I would not be able to hear him. And I didn't feel like asking him to say it again. So anytime he ever said something to me, I would go, haha, <laughs> yeah. Literally just <laughs> over and over again. <laughs> so, <laughs> so he could have he could have been telling me some sort of horrible tragedy story, and I would have just been like, "Ha ha, yeah." <laughs> oh my gosh! Yeah, and the doctor says it's only they got a massive it. fight, and it, it escalated really bad, and like, oh, that was bad, and they divorced. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The doctor says she only has about like two more weeks to live. And the doctor. Like the doctor said it's 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 not benign. It's, it's not, terminal. It's terminal. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> that is evil. It's so not bad. evil. I just didn't feel like talking. To I know. Him. No, that's hilarious. <laughs> All right, one final story. I'm just kidding. I think we should wrap it up though. Yeah, because it's late. Well, it's uh, well, it's not late, well, but we have shit old. to do tomorrow. Yeah, we gotta we gotta it's get off. I gotta wake up early for an anatomy quiz that I missed. So. I've gotta get off, dude. I already did that. Let me Should check I the time it is. Off? Let me check About my schedule. Seven hours ago. Um. So if this. If all goes well, we'll be doing the exact same thing, recording on a Monday, posting on a whenever. Yeah, posting we finally have when a we get it done. Finally yeah, we say point. that, but then we're not going to do it. We're gonna yeah, we'll them. be back in a year. Uh, last time we made a joke about that. Dude, literally we last time months. we literally no, last time we said that we were actually back oh well, in I mean actually you <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Christmas was our last. It was the one, Christmas so episode, <laughs> and we were like, yeah, we'll all be old men, we'll all have kids, we'll be back in years. And it actually happened. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. So let's not say that. We're going to try to do another Christmas episode because, like, every year for the past three years, we've just so happened to do a an episode on Christmas Eve, not even trying to do, like, a Christmas special. But, like, literally for the past, like, three years, we've done an episode. Like Even though there's only on... one up, we've recorded them, but they're just lost in the archives. Yeah. We've <laughs> done a Christmas like episode in like literally like at 1 a.m on christmas eve or some shit <laughs> so like christmas morning but not really yeah <laughs> but we're gonna try to continue that tradition so at the very very least if we don't keep our schedule up we will have another episode up by christmas <laughs> at least by christmas at least by christmas but we're so not guys, gonna try to do that see you in three months <laughs> that's what we're trying to say <laughs> All we'll right. all be old men, our and tails will have grown. Sergi's basement will probably have been overrun by mildew. It'll It'll be by now. It'll, It'll, just be, It'll be filled with kudzu vines. <laughs> <laughs> and guys, where can you find the podcast? 
you can uh, find it on Spotify, Google, <laughs> YouTube. <laughs> hey, viewers out there, what should you do when you are finished watching this episode? Hit delete the bell icon and subscribe. Unsubscribe, dislike the video. Unsubscribe, delete your oh, Google account. Also, we'll probably put our channels in like the description. Like, I think Steven and I have personal ones. Don't subscribe to them, please. I don't have a video. There's no reason you should, as of now. That's fair. You weren't to going our, to anyways. To our subscribers I know you. out there. To our subscribers. <laughs> to all of our One subscriber podcasts. special. <laughs> <laughs> to all of our YouTube One podcasts. subscriber, 10 subscriber. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> That's about it. We should end this while we're on a high note. Alright. Well, we'll see you in three months at worst. And hopefully we'll see you next week. I'm out. All right, see ya.